Where in the world did you get a bucket like this full of coins? Well, I bought it from a guy off the internet and he had one eye, so I trust him. Ooh, and there's a piece of copper right off the bat. And then that looks like another one. And it is, it's a 66. Oh, we're in for a good time. The story on this can of coins is, I can already see it seems to be true because this is a brand new quarter. These are newer uh, shield pennies and then they're mixed with, here's a 1968 copper penny. Apparently there is old pocket change in here, but some of it was cashed in over time and then new stuff has been being thrown on top of it as of late. So it could be just a weird, bizarre mix. So, I mean, we might find silver, we might find, uh, shoot, who knows, we might find a buffalo nickel, wheat pennies, anything all mixed in with this new stuff. So just in that first little handful, there's a 70s nickel, a 60s nickel, and then this all here is copper. So this is 81 and older. So there could be anything in here. And I'm going to start digging through this stuff and I will bring you in for all the highlights. Well, this is not looking good. We're already this far down in the bucket and I'm kind of starting to feel like maybe I got, uh, how do the French say it, ripped off. But I guess the bright side of it so far is that all this copper has come out. So, <laughs> and another thing is, is it seems to be mostly pennies in here. Not a lot of a uh, bigger coinage going on here, but maybe if we keep digging down deeper towards the bottom of this bucket, some older stuff will pop up. Oh, wheat penny! Nice! We got one! I was starting to think there wasn't going to be anything in here at all. All right, let's look at this. This looks like a... Well, by the condition, I'm going to say this is 40s or 50s. 50, late 50s. Wow, it's a 58 Denver. This is the very last year of Wheat Penny before it switched to the uh, Memorial. Wow, I can't believe we actually found something in here. Oh, we got some wind in our sail now. Let's keep going. 